Um, how do I relax? Well, like many other Americans, uh, I come home and I, I pet my dog. You see, petting your dog is one of the most relaxing things you can possibly do. It releases a hormone called oxytocin, which reduces stress. Also, it lowers your heart rate and it lowers your blood pressure. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber driver is here, guys. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. Boy, oh boy, I don't know what's going on in Fulton County, but the people has re-elected Fonnie Willis. No! Well, in a primary. She won her primary against her opponent. And remember, she did not show up for the debate. This is the debate for Fulton County District Attorney. Let's meet the candidates. Christian Y. Smith is an author and attorney. Fonnie Willis has served as Fulton County District Attorney since 2021. Willis declined to participate in the debate and is represented by an empty podium. But yet, Ms. Fonnie Willis somehow pulled it off and she's doing a victory lap and she's on MSNBC with Mad Cow and she says this. Jim Jordan has time after time after time attacked my office um, with no legitimate purpose. They are trying to attack me at every level. I need people around the country to support me, big and small, to say that we are going to be a country that still believes in the rule of law. We are not going to allow people to be attacked while they do their job. Yes, Bonnie, you're right. Nobody is above the law, including you. But somehow, with all the stuff you've done, all the money laundering and campaign financing and stealing money from your campaign and using federal money to go on trips with your lover boy, you still got to pass. Oh, including McAfee. Judge McAfee also won his primary. What I take is a sense of gratitude. I am, I'm very much overwhelmed by what we're seeing as the results that come in. And the message I'm hearing is to keep doing the work, uh, to keep giving both sides a fair day in court, uh, to give, treat everyone with respect and dignity, and that's what I plan to keep doing the next four years, and I'm looking forward to getting back to it. Unbelievable. Fun Fulton County is a mess. It's full of black women. It's full of black women that want to see corruption continue. Now she's out here celebrating, have a good old time, high fiving her her staff, and carrying on like she's you know untouchable. They even invited her lover boy Nathan Wade right here. Look at this guy here. Oh, we're the best of friends. We're great friends. Being attacked this way, um, the only other person on the planet who knows what I'm going through and I know what she's going through. Um, we communicate daily. Um, we talked all the time, but we talked about the case. It was about business. No shame. No shame at all. This guy been disgraced. He's been um, taught and feathered as a homewrecker. We got closer and closer and closer. Workplace romances are as American as apple pie. It happens to everyone. His poor wife is out here with no money, no alimony, because he filed and said he got no money now because he's off the case. So that million-dollar siphon he was getting from Fonnie Willis is gone. So he's making a case that he don't have no money to pay alimony. No! <laughs> and he's out here having a good old time at Fonnie Willis' celebration party. They love the party. She loved that goose, boy. She loved the goose.
We are going to celebrate. We going to party. The DA drinking Grey Goose, in case anybody wondering. Man, and oh man, they got no shame over here. No shame. These folks here, I, again, it's the voters. The voters of Fulton County. I live in Cobb County. But man, y'all made a, a poor example of this, man. Corruption all over the place. And this is the worst part about it here. During her victory speech, she want to quote the Bible again. As Matthew chapter 25, verse 45 says, Truly I tell you, whatever you did not do for one of the least of these, you didn't do for me. Funny, funny. Stop with the quoting the Bible stuff, okay? You're making a mockery of it. You're not in the pulpit. Stop it already. Damn it. She's Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Until next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you district attorneys with big booties, get your ass off my lawn.